Hello everyone, so in today's video I'll be talking about a very important interview question related to the Salesforce deployment and this question is not only important from the technical point of view, you may also get this question in your techno managerial run because the leadership and the technical managers also knows overall about the project and deployment structure so they many times ask this question like what are the different types of sandboxes we have. All right, and most of the people knows the answer of it and also tells the answer. But the problem with is that we do not explain it properly. Okay, and when we do not explain it properly, can, you know, the interviewer need to explicitly ask those things. All right, so whenever you get this question, you need to, you know, keep your answer brief, but also explain it with the help of the proper bullet pointers. All right. So we have four types of sandboxes. We have full copy, we have partial copy, we have developer sandbox, and then we have developer pro sandbox. Full copy is the most advanced sandbox and you get everything you have in your production in your full copy. In fact, all the data as well as metadata configuration, all the users you will be getting. Full copy is just the replica of your production and most of the time it is used to do the uh, pre-prod or uh, UAT testing, you know, in many companies. Uh, then comes the partial copy sandbox okay partial copy sandbox is also an advanced uh, sandbox where you get all the metadata configuration related things all the users the only difference is that you will not get all the data so you will just get the sample data okay and then the refresh time is five days whereas for the full copy it was you know 29 days most of the time when they ask the difference what is the difference between full copy and partial and uh, then they ask the difference between developer and developer pro sandbox. All right. Then the third one is developer sandbox. Developer sandbox is again uh, uh, used most of the time by the developers just to develop the functionality and do the unit testing. So whenever you create a new developer sandbox from your production, you will only get the metadata and configuration related things, all the users, but you will not get any data. You can create your own data when you develop the functionality and test it in your developer sandbox, but you will not get data copied from your production all right and then comes the developer pro sandbox developer pro sandbox is a kind of advanced version of developer sandbox in terms of you get more file storage in terms of you get more data storage so for the power for the full uh, for the developer sandbox it was 200 MB for the developer pro it will be 1 GB refresh interval is same one day for both of these whenever you get this question try to explain this with the help of these bullet pointer rather than just you know naming them because naming them will not uh, you know prove the point that you know deeply about them you it will just say that you just know the name you have to make sure that you explain this properly to get the maximum value out of this questions interview is all about getting the maximum value from the most of the questions which you know all right because you have to make sure that you compensate for the answers which you were not aware or the topics which you are not good at so whatever topics comes on your zone you have to make sure you are getting maximum value out of those to make the maximum impact and feel free to ping me on linkedin or anything for any interview related questions or you want me to cover any topic i'll be more than happy 